Hey guys, this is Ajita. Welcome to today's card video where I have featured a new stamp set by Trinity Stamps called Make a Wish. To begin with, I will be making my own adorable pattern paper using the gnome image and I have placed it on an acrylic block. So I'm using Versamark uh, embossing ink and I'll be stamping this image randomly multiple times on this uh, peach dark peach colored uh, card piece and I'll be heat embossing it with some clear embossing powder. So by doing this you can uh, stretch the use of your stamps and uh, it looks really pretty and adorable once the card is heat embossed. So you can actually heat emboss it in white or gold and even that will look very pretty but I wanted to use a clear embossing powder for today's card. So now I'll be using my heat gun to melt this uh, clear embossing powder and uh, a very shiny and cute pattern paper is created like this. So I'll keep this aside and uh, then we'll move for the main element. I have also taken a striped pattern paper which is in the similar color and I will stamp the sentiment on that. So I'm using some black ink and uh, the sentiment which says uh, make a wish. Once this is done I'll just adhere it on top and uh, keep it aside. I also trimmed a little bit and then uh, placed it on my card base. So I'm sticking it with some wet adhesive and uh, I really enjoy this tiny white border on my cards and especially for the cuter ones. So uh, this uh, gnome image is really adorable and it's a baker and uh, the gnome is carrying a beautiful cake uh, which is so cute. So um, I have colored this image uh, in a water me watercolor medium as well but for this I wanted to try Copics. So I'm using some Nina Solar White paper and I have placed it, uh, I've placed the stamp in my Misty. I'm going to stamp the image using some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and then I colored the image using some shades of Copic markers. So I tried matching the Copic marker shades with the card base and I've picked these shades of pinks. I'll list all the Copic markers I've used in the description box so that you can um, check that out. And uh, I'll just, just quickly color this image uh, very, in a very simple manner. And uh, once this is done, I will fussy cut the image and then adhere it on top of my ready card base. So I'll stop speaking here. You can see how I color this. And now uh, once this is done, we'll finish the card together.
so our cute gnome is colored and to uh, intensify the black lines i just placed this card back in my misty and uh, re-stamped the image using some versa fine onyx ink so this gives me such a beautiful dark crisp lines on top of my colored uh, gnome and then i just use my sharp pair of scissors to fussy cut it and i use some double-sided foam tape to give it some dimension and i adhered it on the space i had left uh, besides my um, sentiment so i hope you enjoyed this card and i totally love how the background and the focal image match this is a beautiful way of using uh, your stamp images in various ways so thank you so much for stopping by if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also uh, leave some comments thank you so much for stopping by see you take care bye bye